hi in this video I will show you match function and how to use match function to match multiple columns instead of only single column right? so we'll basically use index and match and uh, the idea is that I'll specify the name and department and it should fetch rest of the information so let us begin I'll write a name for example Roy it can be in small or capital letters and then the department sales now you can see that it is also highlighting this row where the name is Roy and the department is sales so I have applied conditional formatting for this but I will not focus on that because that is not the topic of this video so we'll focus on the match function index and match function right so if I specify wrong name um, or wrong department it will not highlight any row for example if I specify IT it will not highlight any row okay so let us first write some valid values so sales department now here I need to match these two columns the values of these two columns right first let us see how to use match to match two columns to match the values of two columns so in the lookup value what I'll do is I will combine these two values so I'll select name and ampersand sign to concatenate it with department right so this becomes my lookup value right and similarly for lookup array we will concatenate these two arrays right I'll first select the name then use ampersand sign then use department range well I have given these range uh, these ranges names so they are coming automatically right so now I'll use exact match so we got the match and it is in 12th row right so basically uh, why it is showing 12 here because we have not selected the first two rows so there is a offset of two rows right otherwise it is 14th row but that's okay now we'll use index with this match function I'll use index and uh, I can just select these three columns because or maybe just this one for experience right and out of this uh, for row number we have this match and for column number we can just write one because we have selected only one column that should work yeah that worked the experience is one if I change it to four it becomes four here right okay so okay what if the department is different it gives me error right because the value is not found so to handle it we can use if error and then we can just put hyphen like this right so we'll copy this and sorry do it for salary as well mm -hmm is fine and okay so this should be changed right so ideally we need to move it to salary that's it it becomes E instead of D and okay let me type sales yeah we got the salary 12,000 right again we'll copy this and just shift it to joining date that's it it's that simple right so if I type audit it will not return any value and if I write uh, someone in the audit department like Terry it will give me these values for Terry right so that's how we can use match function to match multiple columns to match the values in multiple columns right so what happens when we concatenate two ranges let me show you it becomes this right so we are basically matching these uh, the combination of these two values with this range in case you have any questions you can let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching